Hey guys, what's up? I'm back here with another video and today I want to share with you guys an experience I had last year and throughout this story telling there will be some tips that may help you guys out if you guys have people in your professional personal life that may not be able to accommodate you properly these tips can help you guys out so hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for my story so last year I was approached by one of my previous professors and she asked if I wanted to do a lunch and learn and I immediately said yes and grabbed that opportunity because not many students with blindness attended my school to begin with so I thought this would be great for my school to kind of g gain a better experience a better educational opportunity to learn how to accommodate us appropriately just in case there were any in the future that I was going to attend this, my same school so I remembered that we presented on World Side Day and I didn't know what to say like I didn't know what I was supposed to say or what I should have said until like a couple days before or even the day before the presentation but in the end a creative idea just like popped into my head called the triple A method which was approach, ask, and accommodate and I used that to really illustrate how people should approach us with blindness um us meaning you know people with blindness so i showed them how you know we don't like to be approached or or asked for help unless we say it first because a lot of times we don't really need help and you just throw us off our tracks and that really screws up us like where we have to go so I remember I asked one of my friends to come with me to the set of double doors and I asked her to open a door. I didn't specify left or right. She opened a door and I said, normally when a person opens a door for me, they don't really say anything. And then after that, I told her, when you open the door again and specify which one you have opened the left or the right and she has done exactly what i said and a lot of people kind of learn from that because after that day everybody started saying oh come to the left or come to the right have the door open for you and i'm like wow that really made a change and even when um people try to accommodate me they don't really do the proper human sight guide they just pull me and you know kind of like drag me in the direction that I was supposed to go but I didn't really find that comfortable either so I told them how to appropriately guide me and a lot of people forget you know here and there so you know I'm okay be but at least they had that educational background from my lunch and learn but you know sometimes I kind of like refresh their mind I'm like oh you're not using what I asked you to and sometimes oh you know they're like oh no I'm sorry I'm like no it's okay like you know you, you have to like remind them every time but it can get repetitive and get annoying at times but you just have to be patient with them because a lot of people who provide assistance they don't really know how to properly accommodate so you know you have to teach them and that was a really great experience for me so after we did the AAA method um, we did like little games where I told everyone to take out their phones and I put them all in blindfolds and for people with Android, I told them to manually, they had to go into our settings and turn on TalkBack and turn it off later, but they didn't know how to do that either because once you have TalkBack or voice over on, everything is double tap and they didn't get that. Um, I also got people with I iPhones to do the same thing with voiceover, um, but they could just ask their Siri to do that. Google can't do that, so they're not as advanced as Apple, which I kind of find it to be sad. but. Hopefully they can work on that. Um, so we did that. We, you know, we did like little things like trying to text somebody or just trying to like dial a phone number, whatever they could do. That was the easiest. You know, I tried to do that too. And then um, I remember I had my cane with me, and one I asked if anybody volunteered to use my cane with a blindfold on and somebody courageously said yes and I kind of like walked behind her in the direction she was going 
up to a certain point because she was going around the whole room and it was kind of too far for me without a cane so <laughs> but she did it really amazing she listened to every little thing that she hit with my cane like the garbage can the chairs the table the wall so she didn't know how far she got she got around the room until she took her blindfold off and she was just so shocked <laughs> i did another some experience to that um on a wellness day we had at our school and we had a bunch of tables out for like taking blood pressure trying out the intoxicated um goggles i know there's a better term for that i just can't remember it and there was like a white line that you had to walk on and then i had my table with the blindfolds and my cane again and somebody had like the some paper some like handouts for like people with dyslexia how things can be like read or written and then there was um, a couple of therapy dogs which were so adorable <laughs> like i kept like touching it <laughs> and you know when they tried mine they had the same experience like the same realization like how we go through on a daily day like how we experience things and how we adapt to our lives like with cane and barely any sight or little sight it was just amazing how their reaction was so i was just fortunate that i had that opportunity both times to share my experiences and how they can help me when i was in school and maybe pre be prepared for any future students so you're probably thinking like what's the point of this video and sharing this experience like i just want to share this experience to really help you guys out if there were anyone in your environment that really didn't know how to approach well then you could just be like oh try the triple a method you know approach ask and accommodate so if you are the type where i was in the past where you don't like asking for help and that's okay as long as you know that there's always going to be help around like sometimes it may be a little bit too much on you to ask maybe you're uncomfortable i've been there i'm not just saying this like i've really been there i hated asking my family and friends for like homework questions and like getting from point a to point b a lot of times but it really makes your life easier if you just ask so that's why i wanted to share this story with you guys to really just put yourself out there and just enjoy your life to the fullest by asking for help and just knowing that there's always gonna be people nice enough to help you out so hope you guys like this video